Can you believe it? Another week gone and we at the end of October. And first of all, no correction in October. I mean, we had, a, I think, three or four days down days. But from there, the S&P 500 and the rest of the world is just shining. Our market also recovered nicely. And um, we've got quite a few requests. And, and most of the requests is buying opportunities. I see everybody is keen on the market. They just believe the market is going to remain strong. And I'm looking at the first request, and that is um, AIL, and that is African Investments. And that is from Johan. Johan is asking about AIL, and um, I think he was looking at the long-term chart. Let's just get that long-term chart for him. And then you can have a look there. African rainbow. Well, there you are, Johan. If I look at this chart, it just tells me one thing, that the momentum is still clearly up. I just want to delete that section there. There you are. And um, I've got the 40-week moving average there. I just want to take that off as well because the momentum is still strong. And look at this beautiful rally. I mean, from October, the fourth that week in October, in a matter of a few weeks, it rallied from 367 to 5 rand and almost 50 cents. So, one, if you look at this chart, first of all, I can see a clear lamp pole formation. And viewers that knows me quite well, they will know that I'm always a little bit nervous on, um, what can we say, a lamp pole formation. But there's something else that worries me about the chart. And you see that it went up all the way up to 543. Put back, it rallied above, above 540 again. Now we're sitting on a double top. And unfortunately, I know you like the chart. But unfortunately, below this level here, there you are, I just want to draw it in. Low that low of that candle, and remember this is a weekly chart, oh, not the candle, that line chart, 495, we can see this double top come into play, and unfortunately, it can take the share much lower, and there is my target there, and from there all the way, and it can go down to 4 rand and 40 cents. But on the other hand, I think you may be now too late to buy. And we've seen it with so many shares. I mean, we've seen shares now in a matter of weeks doubling um, like this one from 380 to 540. And, and I think maybe you're just too late. So in actual fact, if you are a, a, a short-term trader and you haven't got a real long-term view about it, I will actually think about locking in some profit if it starts to consolidate below 4 and 95. Joy is asking about Anglo Platinum. Let's have a look at Anglo Platinum. And I mean, that's one of those big counters of the market. I mean, it rarely disappoints. I know they're printing money at the moment. Um, nothing is, is um, bothering them. But I'm looking at something interesting here. Um, and and I, I mean, you will like this, Joy, if I show you. Do we see? We've seen a chart that's seen ugly um, profit taking from, let's say, about 1,950 all the way down to 1,250 rand. But now it rallied up beautifully and it's almost like consolidating here. But what do we see? We see a beautiful inverse head and shoulder. And that I like. Look at that. And um, I mean, if Anglo American Platinum is telling us that, that tells you that the commodity counters or maybe not yet finishing of rallying. And where's the neckline? The neckline sits at that high of that candle, 1,669 rand and 76 cents. And I mean, it's got beautiful targets here. You will like that. First of all, it's that conservative target. And I'll just extend that now to show you where it can go to. There you are. And look what happens. First target to the top will be this extension from the right shoulder to the neckline. And if I extend it, there you are. That can take it to the start of this gap. And that gap starts at 1,747.99 cents. That's the first target. And I mean, if it plays out in the full, it can easily take the share where to. And you will like that even more. There you are. I want to extend that. It can take the share almost to this previous high of 1950 rand where's this gap 
That gap is still lying there, and I, I think that will be an easy target. Between 1,747 Rand and 99 cents and 1,803 and 51, then this gap will be closed. But of course, what do we need to see? Boy, we need to see that the share consolidates above this neckline. If we do not consolidate above this neckline and we start to go below the right shoulders low, and there's the low there. Just want to draw it in there. There you can see. And um, there you are. The low is 1,537.68. If it gets below that, Joy, then this beautiful right shoulder can be wiped off the table and then this beautiful inverse head and shoulder formation can be in jeopardy. So just be a little bit careful. I mean, all the markets are just smiling. Everything is just beautiful and rosy. And we all know that it's only because the S&P 500 is pumped of liquidity, liquidity and the oil price is rallying beautifully um, almost firing inflation on, and that is filtering through to the commodity counter. So, well, let's hope for you if it breaks above that, but let's use that stop loss of the low of that right shoulder, 1,537.68, to protect your capital. Let's have a look at Tabu's request. And Tabu said he wants to buy Vodacom. Well, I mean, uh, Tabu, it's a good company, nothing wrong. I know they also do some... Uh, good business and they're making some good money and oh what I like about this Abu is I usually like a share if it if it sells up beautifully and it starts to almost consolidate here at the bottom let's just see if it is over sold Abu, because that will give us a good indication if you can maybe look at buying the share you are yes Abu it's it's right at the bottom it's trying to pick up and I will say, if you look at the chart here, and I'll go to the candles now, I'll explain the candles to you now. <clears throat> There's the ugly bearish candle of a few days ago. There's the Arami candle. And you see another Arami, and we're seeing a bullish engulfing candle, but a tiny one. This real body is just so small that you don't even take note of it. For me then, Tabu, it needs to get above this line. And that is 1,140.33. That's the top of this bearish candle. And why do I say above that candle? If you look at this big real body, then you know that although the share is oversold and it's starting to pick up and the momentum is building, on that specific day, and that was on the 21st of October, there were some serious sellers. And they sold the share right off to the close of 1,035 rand and 31. And I mean, why do we see these ugly sellers? Because those guys wanted to sell. So where will I get positive? Only above the high of this candle, and that will be 140 rand 33 cents. And where's my stop loss if you do want to buy it? 135.31. And I mean, you've got plenty targets to the top. You've got 140.54. Um, 142.31, 143.49, and I think in a beautiful relief rally, it can maybe go to this previous resistance, that top of that candle, 144.23. The chart looks okay. It looks like it is a chart that wants to recover. The only thing that I need to show you is maybe just take note of this possible neckline. It can happen here. There you are. And there you are. There you can see the left shoulder. There's the head, there's the right shoulder maybe forming, and that's why I say watch out for the low of this candle, 135.31, because if that breaks, it can easily take this share much lower. And just keep in mind, this share had a beautiful rally, it's a strong counter, and it can easily maybe, well, surprise us to the downside. On the other hand, there's even maybe a bigger red, a head and shoulder formation in the making, there you are, the left shoulder, the head, maybe still higher up out of this uh, low stochastic, give us a bounce. But Tabu, there's two options for me. I prefer the, the one for a bounce first, because I see the stochastic is turning. I see this ugly candle, and if that can be wiped out by the bulls, then we can see maybe a beautiful relief rally for you. Let's have a look at with Sizwe. I mean, this is a tiny counter that really surprised. 
Pfizer sometimes. Let's have a look here. And what happened? It had a beautiful rally the other day. Um, I had a friend of mine phoning me. Um, he didn't ask to, to get the share, but what he said to me, I mean, he loves this count. I waited and he didn't buy it. Now I can see Solly is asking about it and Solly wants if this share can go much higher. Now Solly, first of all, if I look at this share, I mean he had a massive rally. Look at this massive shooting star. It went up that day all the way to the top, to 90, and then suddenly lost momentum and it went to close this gap. Now that in actual fact is maybe positive. I just want to see there's not a gap. It's not a gap, so maybe this can be the start of the turnaround, Solly. And for me, I will want this share to come and go above the top of this ugly candle, 146. And why do I like this chart? Maybe for a, a relief bounce again. Look at the shadow. There were some buyers around here, even if it was sold off that day aggressively. But look at the previous candles, these three. There's a lower shadow, and maybe it can turn around. But let's wait for it break above 146 before we really get excited and if you do buy it above 146 take note and make use of a stop loss of one rand and once again look at this lampel formation and an ugly lampel formation sometimes give you a pullback so always keep in mind when a share either rallies too fast or falls too quickly you must know there's maybe an opportunity looming in that chart as always Wait for the reversal candle, maybe combine that with a nice stochastic or another indicator that stretch, and then you get in and buy. Well, that's the end of this first part. Uh, visit our website www.fransdeclerc.com for more info and we will chat again.